Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Live Rich Cheaply. This is our third installment on our uh, home gym. And uh, my budget was right around a thousand bucks. So that involved buying some used stuff. So uh, this, I bought this used um, from a family friend for, I think it was 125 bucks. It included the weight stand, this weight bench that I won't be using, 245 plates, 235 plates, 225 plates, two tens, uh, four fives, and two two and a half pounders, plus uh, collars, a seven foot 45 pound bar, and a uh, curl bar, an easy curl bar. So it was an excellent deal, especially now during COVID um, or during the lockdowns. It's hard to find this stuff, uh, at least for a reasonable price. I mean, 125 might have been the bar alone. So today I'm going to go over, um, we're going to service the bar and get it ready to go because it's got a little bit of rust on it, a little bit of crud, and i um, going to service the bushings and stuff and get them ready to go. All right, we'll get right to it. All right, so we're going to work on the barbell first. And whenever you're working on a used barbell or even your own if you want to maintain it, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a wire brush or a nylon brush if you don't want to hurt your finish. My finish is already messed up. You see it's rusted. So this is a used bar. I'm just going to use a wire brush on it. You're going to need a rag to wipe the oil down it. Speaking of oil, you're going to need some 3-in-1. Uh, I don't have 3-in-1, so I'm going to use this lubricating oil. And um, you're going to want some safety glasses so you don't go knocking this crap into your eyes. And I'm going to use a little bit of uh, this AutoZone grease here just to lubricate the bushings in the, um, in the bar ends. And um, this particular bar is held together by a 10 millimeter bolt or Allen bolt. So I've got a 10 millimeter 3H drive uh, socket and 3H drive ratchet. So those are the materials I need. We'll get started right now. And uh, let's try to knock as much crap out of our uh, knurling. So as bars get older, people think the knurling gets duller, but Really what happens is chalk and rust and little bits of skin and stuff start filling the knurling. And it starts giving you a more and more mild knurling to the point where you have a hard time keeping grip on it. So all I'm doing is I'm just knocking all the stuff out of the knurling and I'm going along the dime, I'm going along the grooves. So the grooves are like this because it's diamonds. So I'm going along the grooves to get the stuff out. I can already see a difference just in the top. It's a huge difference in uh, the knurling. So I may switch to a power tool since my bar is so far gone. And I just don't care. I got it for next to nothing. All right, we're going to use our buddy the angle grinder to uh, knock this rust off real fast, but we're not going to use a grinding blade. We're going to use a wire brush cup, one of these gnarly things. So yeah, just a forewarning, these wire cups will, um, as they spin, they'll chuck these little wires off and they'll get, these stainless wires will get in your skin, your clothes and everything. It's, it's quite horrible. All right, so let's uh, get rid of our grinding disc. This is what I like to do. I take my tool to remove the grinding uh, disc, or I mean the, uh, yeah, I, I take the tool and I put it on, uh, tape it to the end of my cord so I don't lose the tool number one and number two, it reminds me to unplug the thing so I don't get my hand ripped up because, I mean, it's very easy to hit that switch while you're trying to take your disc off. So I just take some Gorilla Tape or electrical tape and just tape the tool right to the cord. Now we're going to fit our grinding, I mean our, uh, going to fit our wire, wire cup in there. And plug it back in. Okay, take a look. 
Let's take a look at this spot right here. Go ahead and knock the rust off of that. Let's take a look. Look at that. It looks way better. Now if I rotate it, you can see what it looked like before and what it looks like now. All right, let me also tell you something here. So the wheel on this is rotating this way, right? So if I run it along, it's going to clean the grooves going this way. And if I, um, so we're going to clean the grooves going that way. Now, if I change my pressure and I start leaning this side, now, the wheel, now that side of the wheel is going to be going this way to clean the grooves running this way. So you kind of have to move the grinder back and forth to get in all the um, knurling. But the knurling feels a lot better. And I did see some chalk and stuff flying out of there. So wear your safety glasses. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this all cleaned up. got uh, our knurling cleaned up really well. Now this looks like it was probably chromed at some point, but the chrome is pitted and everything, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to treat it as a bare steel bar. Now let's take a look at our um, plate holders or our bar ends, or sleeves, collars, whatever you want to call them. One of the things I noticed when I picked up this bar, right away I noticed that this was loose. So I see that it's got a bolt on the end of it, it's finger loose. So it's assembled with an Allen socket head bolt, some kind of uh, spacer that the bolt head goes through. That. And that's about it. Inside here is just a bar. The end is machined down and threaded to receive that uh, socket head bolt. So inside here, I don't see any bushings or anything. It looks like it just rolls metal on metal. So that's what we're going to clean up. That's what we're going to clean up in grease. So first thing I'm going to do is, there's a lot of crap in here, is I'm going to just take that wire brush wheel to this, clean that up, and I'm going to do both sides. Let's take a look at our surface. You can see that our surface is already heavily pitted and uh, fretted. You know, when little muck gets in between the sleeve and the shaft here, it's just going to grind back and forth and cause like this fretting, little pitting or moisture gets in there. So I wouldn't recommend taking a wire wheel to your rogue, your brand new rogue bar as part of your maintenance. Use a nylon brush. It's not necessary. This bar is already you know, in rough shape. So I'm just doing what I can to salvage it. All right, inside here, it doesn't make contact all the way. It's got a raised edge here and a raised edge here, like almost like a bushing in there. So I just got to clean those two bearing surfaces and then uh, I'm going to put a light coat of grease on them and give a light coat of grease to the bar to protect it under there since it's not something I wouldn't want to take apart all the time and uh, service.
I put it back together dry. Before I go ahead and grease it, I want to knock the rest of the, ru the rust off of this so that that rust doesn't get knocked into our fresh grease after we clean it up. The other nice thing about it being dry is it doesn't easily spin while I'm trying to uh, knock the rust off of it. Let's go ahead and grease. Grease the shaft here. Don't have to go too crazy. Just want a nice thin coat on there. And we're going to put a little bit on our bearing surface here. And the other side. All right, try to get all the grease off your hands as possible. Because this ends up acting as a spacer and everything, I'm gonna just put a light coat on this. And a little bit around the bolt head. And we'll just take our ratchet, tighten that up. I'm not going to go too crazy on it. Oh, that's smooth. That's real nice. That's perfect is we're just gonna knock out any extra little bit of grease that might be there. There's, there's not too much. Just careful not to get it all over the place. But listen to this. Let me see if I can get my mic real close. Turn the cooler off so you can hear it. Just gonna clean any extra grease that's sticking out off of there so it doesn't get all over the place later. Got that. But this thing spins real nice, 10 times better than it did before. We could take a look at the other side as a comparison. I haven't worked on it yet. So you can see that this one pretty clunky still. So I'm gonna take apart this side. I'm gonna do the same thing. And then I'll come back and we'll oil the bar and get it all taken care of. All right, I pulled this one apart, guys, and it's worse than I thought. I mean, it's got actual rust just sitting in there. This side must have been sitting in the sprinklers when it was stored outside, when it was still worth nothing before uh, the lockdowns or before this whole thing. All right, so I'm going to take this air gun and I'm going to blow out the collar and everything get as much rust out. I'm just going to wipe out these bearing surfaces, lubricate it, wire brush that thing, put it back together like we did on the other side. All right, you guys, I'll be back after I get this all put back together. All right, you guys, we got our ends on. This one's not quite as good because um, it had a little bit more damage, but it's pretty smooth. It's smooth enough, and this one's great. So now we're going to, uh, we've got everything cleaned up. Now we're going to lubricate our bar. I'm just going to use my generic oil here. And um, first got to turn the cooler off. Honey, would you turn the cooler to pump only? So I don't have all the oil blown in my face.
right, so I'm just going to do a code on the bar here. Rotate it. All right. Let that sit for just a minute, and then we'll wipe off as much as we can. So, since the finish is damaged on this bar, I'm going to treat it as a bare steel bar. And I'll just probably lubricate it every few weeks. It's going to be in an air-conditioned house, so it won't need it very often. All right, you guys, it looks ten times better. It's got decent knurling on it. It's not perfect, but it also ain't 400 bucks. So I can buy a few shares for my future. I can buy a few shares of uh, AMD or a little bit of Bitcoin or something like that. All right, well, that's the barbell. Let's grab the uh, curl bar and get that fixed up. All right, here's the uh, curl bar. And uh, it assembles much the same way. It's got the same 10 millimeter bolt in the end. Um, it's got a little bit of corrosion on the chrome. But uh, one weird thing about it is the way these sleeves come apart. That's kind of weird, you know? So I'm going to take that all apart. I may put some Loctite on here to hold that together. But I'm going to take it apart and service it much ways the other one. This time I'm going to start by just taking the whole thing apart. Again, I don't know what brand anything is. May not may not be the highest quality because the uh, look at the the pitting. I don't know if you can see the pitting in there, in the casting or whatnot. Um, and I can see a weld mark along along the inside here where this is not a single piece of tubing. All right, we got a little bit of blue uh, thread locker. Go ahead and reassemble these sleeves with a little bit of that. Could almost argue for red thread locker on something like this, but I don't have any. Put a little grease on everything that touches. This is going to be this access bearing surface here and this over here access bearing surface. So I'm just going to go ahead and grease that up. I'm 
little on the shaft here. Actually, it looks like the bolt does not touch anything on this one. It's got a different system. Wipe off that extra grease. off any extra grease. And we'll reassemble the other side. We're gonna do the same treatment to this one. Alright you guys, again I don't know the brand of these, they seem to be middle of the road or low quality but uh, they're going to do the job just fine. Um, a lot of people are making do with buckets or gallons of water or whatnot, so this is pretty great in a time where exercise uh, equipment's short during the uh, COVID-19 outbreak here in 2020. Alright you guys, well that does it for our uh, refurbishment of our used bars. The weight plates, weight plates are in okay shape. I'm not going to worry about them right now. And this is our tower. I'm just going to wipe dust this off the little uh, weight tree. You guys, uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Really appreciate it. Uh, come back and see us some more. Find some other ways to save some money. See you later.